Hi there everyone, welcome to Infinity Drones. Today we're going to take a look at the DJI FPV drone and also how to improve its distance or its range that it has. Now, for those of you guys that have bought the drone or have seen the drone and you're unhappy with what the results are, I actually think this is a fantastic drone for new guys to get into the FPV hobby. Yes, it's not so robust. Yes, it does have some issues, but it's got full return to home functionality. You can easily switch between uh, acro mode back to normal mode for safety. It, it's just a really easy drone to fly. Now, it should not have been called the FPV Eraser drone. That I completely agree with, but they should have probably called this the DJI cinematic FPV drone because you can get some crazy good shots with this combined with the DJI goggles you really do get a really good experience and it is very user friendly for a new guy getting into the hobby I personally think that a lot of guys might buy this and they're going to end up buying or getting into the real FPV hobby of building their own drone and creating and setting everything up themselves so without further ado today we're taking a look at how to improve the distance and the range now this is a great um, free option you can do and credit to Andy RC for showing me how to do this and you're going to check out the website that we're going to give you guys now it's called beyond 3d and the easiest thing to do is you're just going to type into Google just go straight to your browser and what you're going to type in there is b3 yond and then you're going to type enter that's all you need it's going to take you straight to the website and you're just going to click on beyond and your DJI FPV unlocker now when you get to the website, you're going to see that it's going to give you a nice little easy one page um, item where you can see unlock my drone now. And there's also an app on the DJI store that you can use. Now, if you scroll a bit lower down, you're going to see that it's currently compatible with what, version 01, 02, 0020 firmware. And that is, well, your firmware on your drone that you need to have. Now, there's a couple of things that you need to know. This is completely free. So if you do this, I really do recommend, please go buy these guys a coffee. They've made this available for free and it's absolutely a game changer. It does make a massive, massive difference. And I will be showing you guys some tests later on, on how good this really is. So you're not going to get unlocked DJI drone. You're still going to have your altitude limits and all of that. If you want to remove the altitude limits, please take a look at the other videos on my channel where drone hacks is used, where you can literally remove the altitude limits and put it into permanent FCC mode so that you don't have any other limitations. But that is a license that you've got to purchase. On this side, it's completely free. And what you need to do is just unlock your drone. What it's going to do, it's going to put your drone into FCC mode and essentially unlock your uh, milliwatts that you can use instead of 25 milliwatts you're going to go up all the way to 1.4 watts so is this safe well yes essentially this is 100 percent safe because it is being used currently by the drones in the us it's just the guys outside of the us that's got the exact same drones it's just that the country's laws and regulations are that you can't use 25 well more anything higher than 25 milliwatts so if you want to scroll a bit lower down you can see that's everything explained unfortunately there's no real way to see if you are in this mode or not. You're going to have to trust the app or just take it out for a quick flight. But trust me, within the first 15, 20 minutes, if you fly behind a building or trees or something like that, where you usually have breakup, you're not going to have breakup anymore. So just follow the instructions on the screen and it's going to take you through the whole process. Now, can this break your device? No, it can't because it is just an instruction that's saved on your device, making you think that it is allowed to use the US standards. That is it. As soon as you plug in the DJI Fly app to your goggles again, you will automatically re revert back to stock and you will essentially lose the mod as well. Will this affect your warranty? No. If you have problems with warranty, just plug in your phone to your goggles and then the DJI Fly will remove whatever is there. And remember, if why would it remove your warranty if it's legal in and it's 100% fine flying like that in the US? Will your range be better? <laughs> yes, your range is going to be significantly better. Really, really do recommend you try and do this. Okay, now your your drone everything is going to fly exactly the same the only thing it does is it changes the region or makes it think that it's in the us so therefore you have a higher output power and your transmitter is able to just transmit more um more power to your drone 
and yes this is completely free so once again i recommend if you are happy with this just go buy these guys a coffee it doesn't cost you too much or anything like that it's just this has really really changed the way you can now really use this drone for cinematic long range flights because you can easily two three four five kilometers with this now and with the included battery of like nine ten minutes of flight time you can actually get quite far now what you're going to do is, is you're going to connect this to your machine remember your otg cable that we discussed earlier so you can have your otg cable and we're going to follow the instructions shortly on the screen so here we're going to discuss this whole process as well as the mobile app i'm going to cover that a little bit later and if you don't have chrome or edge well there is a desktop app you can use you can download it from the download center straight over there but just use chrome almost 90 percent of people out there use chrome any case, so it should be fine if you're not happy with that then maybe use someone else's machine to do this but it is really that easy so all you need to do is just go to this and if you want to copy and put it into your website you're more than happy to do that just click the copy button and you can embed it into your own website these guys just want us to fly unlocked so really really worth it okay let's get to unlocking the device so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to do i'm going to unlock my dji fpv drone and the first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to turn on the controller so just once and twice once that's turned on we can actually just put this aside then you can take a drone please remember to remove your gimbal clamp you are still indoors so just remove your clamp Let me just take the camera there we go camera off turn it on still can't get over that now remember your controller is going to try and bind to the drone so the lights are going to go solid but while we wait we're going to connect our goggles to our fpv drone so what we're going to do is just get your power to your goggles and just power it up just plug it in now your goggles are powering up just switch this out So just take your USB-C cable from your PC. You don't need the OTG cable unless you don't have the correct adapter. Plug it straight into your machine. As you can see, I'm currently plugged in. And I'm going to get a pop-up message. Just close that. I don't need that. You might get a pop-up with a COM port. So I'm just gonna go and select this option over here. My browser is not supported. That's because I'm probably using Firefox. I'm just gonna copy that get myself a chrome browser as you can see just paste it in there and here we're back so yeah i'm going to go into uh, unlock my drone now there it goes to start now and literally it is now searching for my drone so basically asking me to turn it on we have already done this so i'm going to click on the next one i've already powered up my goggles as you, as you can see and now we have connected it to the pc and then we just wait for the PC to detect the goggles. And once it's detected the goggles, we can then enable the mod by clicking a simple button on the screen. As you can see, there we go. Click next. A pop-up is going to appear on the screen where we select which COM port we're going to use. Click connect. And it will automatically do the mod for us. We're not doing anything on the drone. We're not doing anything on the goggles except connecting it to the PC and following the wizard on the screen. That is it. That is as simple as it possibly can get. We just wait for it to finish. Once it's done, it's going to send the new update to the drone via the goggles. And there we go. Success. That is it. Now you can enjoy a much better signal back to your drone and to your goggles. So your range will be improved, flying behind items and obstacles will be improved. Just your overall experience will be much better. As you guys have seen how to do the whole mod using a PC, we are just quickly gonna run over how to do it using your mobile phone. Now, I've already talked to, guy, to you guys about the OTG cable plugging into the side of the goggles. So at the moment, I'm turning on my goggles, I'm turning on my drone, and I'm turning on my controller. While that's all going on, I am plugging in the OTG cable into my goggles. 
and I'm plugging in the other side of the cable. I've got a USB-C cable plugged into the OTD and I'm plugging that into the bottom of my phone. As soon as I plug it in, obviously it's going to start charging, but it's going to pop up with a few options that you can use. Now, if you don't have these options set up, you can just go and select the app from your app drawer if you want to. But in this case, I'm going to click on the beyond. I'm just going to use it once. And then I'm going to click start now. If I click start now, it's going to go through the whole process. Is the controller connected to the drone? Then you just quickly wait for that. The drone is turned on. Yes, that's correct. The goggles are powered on as well, and they are all connected. And then as easy as that, we've already done this step and we are scanning to see if we can find the goggles. Hopefully it's going to go nice and easy and quick. As you guys can see, this app is very well thought of, quite easy to use as well. Just as easy as the website. In this case, I can do this even in the field. So click next and there we go. It's connecting. It's unlocking my, my drone as we speak. And there we go. Please buy these guys a coffee. This is ridiculously easy. Now remember, if at any case you have opened up and you have gone and opened the DJI Fly app, you would have removed the mod. This is how easy it is to remove the mod. You simply open the DJI Fly app and it will automatically remove it. So I'm not going to update now. There's my drone. I can click over there and there I am at home. But if you think about it, I have now removed the mod. So how do I get the mod back up again? As simple as that, just exit the menu. So now that I've exited the DJI Fly app, I want to actually enable the mod again on my drone because remember when you open the DJI Fly app, you remove it instantly. So when I click on Beyond, I'm going to open it and I'm going to say Start. Remember everything is still turned on, so I'm going to power everything on, everything is still connected. As easy as that, I'm just running through the whole process again and Bob's your uncle, I am going to enable the mod on my DJI FPV drone again. Now please note, this is for the DJI FPV drone, this is not for the Vista or the Air Unit or anything else like that, this is just the DJI FPV drone. There are other mods where you can put a file onto the SD card on the goggles where you can do that, this is not that one. Guys, if you've enjoyed this and found this useful, please consider to click the subscribe button, I really would appreciate that. Please stay tuned for when I do some range tests or just tests in the area where we check if the mod is actually effective or not. I can, spoiler alert, I can really tell you guys, it makes a massive difference. And please stay tuned for the uh, range tests which I'm going to show. Now, once again, I just want to show or mention that if you are talking about range tests, it's completely dependent in the area that you're in. I'm in a very urban area, so I'm going to fly the drone here and just show you guys where I normally lose track or lose signal and then I'm going to do the mod again and then show you guys what new range I can get in the same area. Obviously your area will be different but in my area it's a nice gauge of what you can maybe expect on your end. Okay if you guys have any questions please pop it in the comments below I'm always happy to help. Happy flying!